cryptos people there's stuff happening in the world stuff that affects us through our computers it's the bitcoin phenomenon welcome to day 18 for me of my 90 day challenge and this is day this is august 17th i think i forgot to say what the day was yesterday but Woo, I just woke up it is like 706 i made my coffee came right in here and Lo and behold, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is making a run for 4500 I think that's kind of exciting. Considering back when I first started doing this, Bitcoin was at 900 <laughs> And everybody thought it was high then. This is hypnosis, people. This is the human mind collectively agreeing on something. Right? That Bitcoin has value. It is proving its value. And here it is. Okay, so again, as I have mentioned the last several weeks, <laughs> please don't chase a high. Right now, as it's pushing and making new highs, there are people all over the world afraid it's going to let them go, so they're throwing their money at it. But let's look at the one hours. See all the different places you could have gotten in if you wanted to get in. So that's, again... The thing I'm learning, and you can you can follow my advice, or just or not my advice, but follow my example, because I don't give advice. Just want to be clear on that. They come after you if you give advice, just so you know. So be careful. <laughs> um, on the one hours, it's moving. On the thirty minutes, it's moving. It's at the top of the top of the top. On the thirty minutes. On the one minute. It's moving, right? So this is this is a stay on the sidelines and watch with your mouth open moment, okay? And hopefully you're in. If not, please wait. It will come back. Trust me on this. It may come back a little. Every one of these surges has had a little place where you could have gotten in, right? Um, back here on August 8th. I think that's August 8th. They, they, they put the month and the day in different places. So it's either August 8th or August 9th. I can't tell. <laughs> it, it's got to be August 9th because it's not September yet. Okay. Like I said, if I can do this, people, with, with my number block, <laughs> you guys can. All right. So there are always places where you can, it, it'll come back a little bit and you can get in. Okay. But right now, not the moment. Okay. So that's Bitcoin. And I'm not going to belabor it because I can blab while the screens are loading. We're going to look at Ethereum. Ethereum, Ethereum. Someone's got to do a parody of, a, of the Age of Aquarius, but use Ethereum, the Age of Ethereum. Um, I don't really do parodies. I tend to write more original songs, but I have a new CD coming out, people, while I'm waiting for the thing to load. But I'm so so obsessed with this that I, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of slacking on getting it out, but that's good. I'm waiting for the master CD to come from the recording engineer, and uh, then we'll we'll get a new CD out. Anyway, okay, Ethereum. Look at Ethereum. It has made a move, and now it's in a kind of a little double top. I predict this is going to move. Let's see if I can just kind of make this a little bit bigger. Ah, there we go. A little bit bigger. And move it and center it. Okay, this top when it hit, looks like over 400. Okay, it you can see it wants to go back, right? This is a trampoline, but in slow motion, right? It has gone down, gathered some energy, and it's going up. It's about halfway up now. Um, I bought some Ethereum a couple of days ago. I can't remember if it was here. I think I may have bought a little here, but it may have been in here. <laughs> In the uh, in this range, I can't remember. I wrote it in my journal, but I don't feel like finding it right now. Uh, and I'm working on a better system. I'm working on getting a spreadsheet going. Um, 
So I have people in my life who are who know how to do numbers. <laughs> um, all right. So in Ethereum right now is not a bad time to get in because we have it's moving up, and it's but it's testing its you know its high. So I'm liking Ethereum a lot. In fact, last night I tried to buy an Ethereum mining contract at Genesis. Um, but Genesis is having some problems with their website and it was just, it just was so slow and I just got I'm like, okay, I'll try it tomorrow. So I might be buying a Genesis, uh, hash power contract a little later today when I do my crypto crankers or my asset amplifiers, however you want to think of it. So whenever you see kind of upward, an upward bar. An imaginary bar that a currency or a anything really wants to move past and there is pressure from beneath and you'll see this when I get to Dash and Litecoin um, there will be a movement and I said this yesterday it's kind of like tectonic plates they push and push and push and push and then boom they go right um, in the case of Bitcoin uh, the the downward pressure was the the hard fork, you know, and it kind of paused and made everything stop. And then when the hard fork came and the world didn't end, everybody's like, oh, okay then. And I'll go, away it goes. Ethereum is the same way. And I don't know anything about what's going on behind the scenes, but Ethereum was doing great. And then it, it kind of had some of the same network problems that Bitcoin had. And um, so hopefully they will, they're working on those. And then this is going to move too. All right. So, that's Ethereum for today. Let's look at the one hours. Yeah, on the one hours, it's looking like it wants to move, but it's a it's a moment you could get in. You know, I mean, it's moving up on the one hours. Um, certainly. And here's the thirty minutes. See, and if you look at these smaller charts, these smaller time frames, you can always see there's ups and downs. It may look like one fast surge on the one day chart but it's it's all ups and downs and here on the one minute it's about to move people ethereum looks like it's got some momentum and it's going to make a run at 310 um which is cool let's see where's our this is yeah 318 yeah so 320 is really the target um, on the, uh, let's see if it will move this little line up to 320-ish. So really, we're looking to break past 320, and then it's going to make a run for 400. And then I would be willing to bet when it gets to 400, it will pause and test this high for a little while. So we'll see. That's my prediction. I love predicting and then seeing if I'm right. And that's, that's part of what this challenge is all about. And uh, if you haven't followed any of my other videos, go back to like day one and see what I was doing and see how in just two weeks and three days, essentially, um, a lot has happened. And uh, so let's, that's good for Ethereum. Shazam Shazupa people, this is, should I save Dash for last? No, I'm going to do Dash now. I'm just going to keep my order. We'll save Litecoin for last. Dash. Dash, dash. If you want to get some cash, get Dash. Dash is brilliant as we wait for the screen to load. Goldprice.org. Come on, baby. I may have to find another place. Let's look at Dash. Dash is, is so, so making a move right now. Look at this. 246. And uh, wow, that's the one-day chart. Now, as I was saying yesterday and the day before, yesterday was so cool because I was literally saying, Dash is going to make a move um, because you have all this downward pressure. On the bottoms, it's moving up, totally moving up. Boop, 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 boop. On the top, it was staying flat, right? And the... The pressure from below was pushing against the ceiling, and it popped. <laughs> it popped its triple top. It was a triple top. So you one, two, 
three. It was actually four. It could be five. A quintuple top. But these are the big ones because these are the ones that really tested the upper, the upper limit of what this mass group of people who own Dash were thinking, and the people on the sidelines who want to own Dash. And this is a basic human cognitive bias. You can call it greed if you want, but it's the idea of, whoa, something's happening. I want to be a part of it, right? It's like the cool kids club. It's This shows up in human psychology over and over and over again, that something new happens, something changes, and some people are quick to jump in and some people are slow to jump in. Some they have. Uh, if you read Malcolm Gladwell's *The Tipping Point*, you can find a lot of great science done on the early adapters, uh, the late adapters, the, the the giant group in the middle. You know, and again, I keep using the analogy of when the internet first showed up. I remember 1998 or 90, might have been 97, but 98. Uh, my uh, electric guitar guy, Gene Moore my my friend who plays brilliant electric guitar in most of my albums you know he he had just gotten fed up with writing jingles in the new york jingle business and he was beginning to uh look around for the next opportunity and he saw web design as a place and he he said mark get your url markshepherd.com and i didn't know what that was right so i did right now someone might say to you you need to get into bitcoin and the thing is, we're all going to be in to all of these currencies. This is going to be something everybody is going to have to do at some point. Because there will be a day when you go to a store and they go, no, we don't take paper money. We only take cryptocurrency. That's going to happen. <laughs> all right? So anyway, now that, they, now that I've started uh, flapping my lips, uh, the chart is loaded. Okay. So there we are. Dash. And I just want to show you my wallet, um, and uh, I have a I have a lot of Bitcoin in there because I closed out a position in one of my crypto crankers. We'll talk about that in the next video. Uh, but my Dash is up almost uh, two hundred bucks from where it was. I bought I bought some Litecoin and split it in half, and put half of it in Dash. And look at my Litecoin; it's five seventy eight U.S. dollars, and my Dash is now seven fifty one U.S. dollars. So I made two hundred bucks essentially. Ish, 200 buckish. Um, by watching these uh, patterns. All right, so one hours, it's way up. It's at the top of the top in the one hours. In the 30 minutes, it's at the top of the top. So it's in the process of moving right now. This is exciting. I love it when it moves, right? It's entertaining. It's exciting. We humans like movement. We like action, or at least us people who have ADD like it. <laughs> Where's the rabbit? <laughs> Where's the rabbit? <laughs> and ADD might be a survival skill. It just doesn't do well in classrooms where you're supposed to sit and be quiet and do what you're told. And I hate being told what to do, okay? <laughs> oh, did I, did I say that out loud or did I just think that? Okay. Let's go. Now, if you haven't gotten in on any of these things, would you please go to Coinbase, open an account, and get yourself some damn Litecoin. Do it today, because Litecoin's going to move too, right? And Oh, did that sound like advice? No, if I were you, that's what I would do, because <laughs> I already did it. But I'm telling you, the others are moving. Don't jump onto the train and it's full speed. you got to wait till it pauses, then get on, right? If you're going to jump a train... You don't do it while the train is going downhill. You do it when the train is going uphill and it slows down a little bit. You can get out of the train and then hopefully it'll get moving. All right. Weird mixed metaphors and analogies. But let's look at Litecoin. Do you see, people? Do you see? Do you see the beauty here? Look at this. From the bottom, it's moving up. Every bottom is a little higher than the last bottom. Hello, and let's look at the top. This is going to pop. It may not pop today, but it's going to pop soon. Let's, I need to move this line down a little bit. All right, 
So look at the, we have a top here at 50 and over here at 50. We had a spike up here at 56. So it will, its next move is going to test this line up here. Let's see if I can, I'm right at the top of the chart. It's at the top of the charts, right? It's going to, it's going to move from 44 to 55, right? That's a, that's a significant move, right? That's more than $10 in U.S. dollars, right? It's going to, it, it can't not go there. This is psychology, remember? Groups of people are predictable, individuals are not. This is groups. This is a group of people. And the thing is, Litecoin has set themselves up to be the silver to Bitcoin's gold, right? They're thinking, well, Litecoin's going to be the usable currency, the currency that everybody just uses day in and day out to buy coffee, to buy their groceries, whereas Bitcoin will be something where people will store their value for long-term appreciation, right? I don't know if any of that's true. Those are stories, right? But each of these currencies right now is finding its place. That's why it's a good time to be in these markets. Because like Amazon.com first started out selling books. That's all they sold was books. Now they sell everything, right? So it took them a little while to figure out their course. And, and maybe they had that in mind from the beginning, right? I don't know. Um, all of these different things have a lifetime. And right now we're at the beginning, right? It's still the beginning. There's still plenty of time. If, if, if I had $1,000... I might put it in to Litecoin. In fact, maybe I'll do that today. I don't know. So when I do my crypto crankers and my asset amplification video next, I may talk about that or that may have to wait for a third video because I'm trying to keep these short. Anyway, uh, Litecoin on the one hours, it's, it's again, it has this resistance band here at 44, right? But the bottoms are moving up. The bottoms are all higher than the previous bottoms. And the 30 minutes, it's really making a run at 44 today. And my prediction is today it's going to break through 44 at least. Because it's, you know, there's a lot less volume in here than in Bitcoin, obviously. But the thing about Litecoin is because it kind of came along later, just like Dash, they've already solved a lot of the Bitcoin and Ethereum problems, right? All right, that's it. I did it. I did the numbers, baby. I did the charts, the cryptos. So this is Mark Shepard, and if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. That would really help me out, and I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed. I spent like a year trying to share my music with people, and I got like three subscribers. And then the minute I start talking about money, boom, all of a sudden it's interesting. So that's cool. Uh, if you do like music, check out some of my music videos. You may have to dig around my channel a little bit because lately I've been just doing these. But I have a ton of music videos coming and uh, I have some that I need to edit. And hopefully I can get to some of that. I have a new CD coming out. And the reason I'm doing all of this, people, is to raise money so that I can do the music the way I want to do it without kissing any record company's asses or really compromising my music in any way. I want to do it the way I want to do it. And uh, I think eventually people will enjoy my music all over the world. And uh, <laughs> But it needs capital. In order for me to do it, it needs capital. And I'm a massive introvert. So the idea of you know going out and playing at open mics all the time is not interesting to me. Um, <laughs> so this is what I'm doing. And, and this kind of stuff fuels my music. If I'm not learning and creating and exploring new ideas, then I feel stagnant. So this is really feeding all of my neurological needs for uh, excitement, <laughs> novelty. And these are all human cognitive biases, the novelty factor. I mean, we're always looking for new, right? And it and it is something that kept our ancient ancestors alive and competitive out on the Serengeti Plains of Africa, okay? So <laughs> we could go deep, we could go wide. But today, it's up to you to decide whether you want to play or not or just watch. That's whatever you want to do is fine with you. This is my challenge. 
And I, I changed some beliefs back in my last challenge. My last 90 day challenge was all about changing beliefs. And I changed some core beliefs using NLP. I moved some stuff around. I changed some core beliefs about my beliefs about myself and money. And uh, so now I'm putting those beliefs into practice and building a skill set to support them. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. Drop me a line. Leave a comment below. There are all kinds of links below every video for different things you can try. And again, buyer beware. Uh, these are things I'm doing. Some of them are quite high risk. I'm cool with that because I've tried all kinds of crazy things. At some point, I'll tell you my full story, how I bought real estate at the top of the 1980s real estate bubble, how I lost everything during the 2008 crash, <laughs> uh, and how I'm looking to set it up so that during the next economic downturn, which kind of feels imminent, um, I will actually prosper. And that's the goal. And make enough money to pay my rent and record my music um, because I want to pay my producer, my engineer, my musicians real money for their real talents. Uh, so that's it. That's my big thing. I will see you in the next one. Check into the next video. I'm going to tell you why I pulled everything out of Ambus and put it in a different crypto cranking program. And uh, I'm going to attempt to buy an Ethereum contract at Genesis Mining. Uh, that's a lot of the stuff that's coming up today. And But this is the Morning Cryptos. This is where we start. Where is the market today? Thanks for watching. My name is Mark Shepard. Start the music! <laughs> mm -hmm.